Hello. Do you know which habits will damage the brain? Is one is your food and your drink. Two is the information you take in. And three, you need physical contact. That is really, really important. We are not, as human beings, designed to live in isolation. We're designed to live in tribes. We're designed to live, live in groups, families, communication with other people. That's how we're designed to live. Um, so that's really important. Human contact or pet contact. So the, a lot of lonely people, what they do is they have a pet. And so their pet gives them that physical contact they need. The foods that will do the most damage, your eating habits will do the most damage to your brain. And, the, and most people in the Western world are on this special diet called the standard Western diet or the standard American diet. It's known as a SAD diet. It is the most toxic diet on the planet. It is designed to make you ill. It is designed to make you depressed. It is designed to turn you into a junkie. Your diet, then one has been allocated to you. And that is a default diet, the standard American diet, known as a sad diet, because it is designed to make you miserable and sad. Okay, so if I'm not going to go on a diet, well, you're on a diet, and it's called the standard American diet, the sad diet. So good luck with that. And what damages you in the standard American diet is one, processed foods. All processed foods damage yeah. you. Is processed foods. Eating junk foods, processed foods, takeaways, restaurant food, um, kebabs, fish and chips, fast food, you know, like crisps, biscuits, uh, breakfast cereals, bread, pizza, all of those things, they all cause massive inflammation in the brain. And then, and the reason they do that is one, they're made out of extremely cheap ingredients, you know, a lot of chemicals, E numbers, and all that kind of stuff. But also because they contain um, three ingredients that damage you a lot. The first one is sugars. So manufacturers are catching on that people, that the public are getting, becoming aware that sugar is bad for them. It rots the brain. It literally rots your brain. So what they've done is they've created 30 or 40 different names for sugar, like agave syrup, um, high fructose corn syrup, you know, all kinds of stuff. Look them up. There's like 30, 40, 50 names for sugar. And you'll see that in your ingredients list. The second thing that damages you is flour, any kind of flour, um, whether it's wheat flour, corn flour, whatever flour, right? Any of these, they damage you a lot. And the third one, like vegetable oils, like um, sunflower oil, all that kind of stuff, margarine, things like that, really low quality fats. For example, um, fats from a, a, an ill animal. So all of these damage us. So you want to get away from, so you want to get away from processed foods. You want to get away from all the different types of sugars. You want to get away from vegetable oils, margarine. You want to get away from flowers. You want to get away from toxic relationships. They damage you as well. You want to form, consciously form um, good relationships with people around you and people in your life so that you, so that you, are, you benefit each other. So it's a win-win situation when you're with them. And the other thing that damages you also is not getting enough good quality sleep. So it's not the length of the sleep that's important. It's the quality. So if you're having eight hours sleep, but it's really bad quality sleep in a bad room, um, where there's too much light, noise, whatever, then that is not good sleep. It doesn't matter if you've had eight or ten hours. You want it in a darkened room. You want it in a, in a place that's comfortable. Exercise. Exercise is really important. So your body needs, and your brain, it needs sleep. It needs movement. So like dancing, walking, moving around, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and exercise. Exercise is something that stresses the body. Do you know, like running, weights, um, climbing mountains, whatever it is for you, swimming, whatever it is, uh, anything that gets you out of breath, gets the heart rate going, that's exercise. If you, so if you're walking and it doesn't get you out of breath and it's, it's not getting the heart rate going, that's movement. You still need that, but so you need rest, 
movement and exercise.